The Central African Republic's mineral resource endowment includes copper, diamond, gold, graphite, ilmenite, iron ore, kaolin, kyanite, lignite, limestone, manganese, monazite, quartz, rutile, salt, tin, and uranium. Of these commodities, only diamond and gold were produced in 2006. Subsistence farming was the mainstay of the economy. In 2006, the World Trade Organization estimated that the mining sector accounted for about 7% of the gross domestic product. Rough diamonds and timber were the country's leading export products. However, in December 2014, the U.S. Department of Labor report on labor conditions around the world contained a list of goods produced by child labor or forced labor that mentioned diamonds as a good produced in such working conditions in the Central African Republic. Production Production of gold and diamonds, which is mostly artisanal, comes from the regions of Berberati, Haute Koto, and Haute Sangha. In 2006, diamond production increased to about 420,000 carats 84 kilograms, from a revised 383,294 carats 76.6588 kilograms in 2005. Diamond exports, which were mainly destined for Europe and Israel, amounted to about 416,000 carats 83.2 kilograms and were valued at 59 million dollars. Structure of the mineral industry Production and trade of diamond and gold are overseen by the Bureau de Valuation et de Contrôle de Diamant et d'Or BECDOR maintains the country's diamond and gold production database and assesses the value of diamond parcels that come from the various diamond exporting companies collectively known as Bureau Dashit that operate in the country. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commodities Gold Axemen Inc. of Canada continues to explore for gold in the country. A pre-feasibility study for the Passindro Gold Project was completed by GBM Gold Limited of the United Kingdom in early 2006. It was followed by a feasibility study conducted by Senate Limited of South Africa, commissioned during the third quarter of 2006. The pre-feasibility study had envisioned an open pit operation with a gravity carbon in leach processing plant that would process about 3 million metric tons per year, mount per year of ore with production estimated to be about 6200 kilograms per year, kilogram per year of gold reported as 200,000 troy ounces. Other companies exploring for gold in the country included Prospero Minerals Corp., formerly Karumal Minerals Corp., before 2006, and Tamiya Gold and Diamond Exploration Inc. of the United States, and London-based Pan-African Resources plc. <laughs> Diamond In 2006, Energem Resources Inc. of Canada continued to focus on the development of suitable diamond prospects within its Bangana, Bria, Koto, and Kwata concessions in the Haute Koto and Bamingui Bangoran prefectures. Canadian Valdium Resources Limited's plans to explore for diamond bearing kimberlite pipes in the country continued to be put on hold during the year as the company focused on other priority exploration areas elsewhere in the world. Other companies exploring for diamond included Pangaea Diamondfields plc Isle of Man, which planned to invest $3.2 million in a bulk sampling plant for its Dimby project concession area, and Jim Diamonds Limited UK, which held exploration and mining permits for the Mombere River project near the city of Berberati. <laughs> Mineral fuels. The Central African Republic did not produce mineral fuels in 2006 and depended upon imports for its energy requirements. United Reef Limited of Canada obtained the rights to a petroleum exploration permit in the country through a farm in agreement 
with Denver-based RSM Production Corp., in 2004. It was unable to continue with its exploration activities in 2006. The company declared force majeure following the lack of progress in resolving a contract dispute between RSM and the government. The company's exploration permit was for the Docio and the Salamat basins in the northern part of the country. Uranium Uranium was discovered in 1966 in the Bakuma region in the eastern part of the country, and there was further prospecting in the Berberati and Bangasu areas. Exploitation has not occurred, because of high start up costs and poor transportation. Reserves were estimated at 18,000 tons. Iron Iron deposits estimated at 3.5 million tons have been exploited in Berberati and Bangasu, but production has now ceased. 